What do you like most about blocking for a guy like Dylan Edwards? Um, as you know, he just started here this fall. Seeing how fast he is, see how quick um, his like his lateral quickness is insane. Um, just seeing that, like on film and seeing it on the film, like get him the ball, shoot, he gonna go for a go for a six right there. So it's really cool, like having him. He's really good, um, really good dude. He brings a lot of energy to the team. Really high spirited guy. I'm really thankful for the day he came here and you know chose to be here. Um, but yeah, just seeing him move out there, he's so he's so quick. Like I'm telling you, like. Where y'all saw Colorado, he's going to bring here, and I'm really excited to, that he's here. So, With uh, some of the leadership you guys lost last year, it seems like there's a bit of a void to replace on the offensive line. How have you tried to fill that, and what kind of wisdom have you given to some of your, your other teammates there? I mean, um, you know, we still have some veteran guys that have still been here, like Hadley, Carver. Like, we all, we've been here throughout that whole process when Cooper, Dove, KT, Gillum, like, all those guys were here. Like, I was, you know, I'm at the same age as uh, Cooper. Like, I came in at the same time as him, and, um, you know, it's always been that same standard. Like, we never back off of anything. Like, it's, we, held, we hold all of our offensive linemen accountable. Like, we hold each other accountable, um, making sure we do the right things, making sure we do we're like, we're, we're finishing, making sure we're, you know, we're keeping the, the whole offense, you know, up and, you know, just bringing that energy. But I was saying, like, um, it never really matters, like, who leaves, like, we still hold a standard every single time, like every year, every year out. We hold the standard that we're going to be the best offensive lineman in the Big 12. So, what what are some personal goals that that you have for yourself going into this season? Personal goals, I would say, just uh, be more, I'm, be more confident. I've been, um, you know, I got a little journal I go to every night um, and write some down, some something I'm really thankful about. Um, you know, um, just. Things I look forward to, or just thankful for that, like the day. Um, you know, say like another goal is, um, you know, being all Big Twelve and first, second team. I, I don't care. Like I, I just want to, you know, be some. Um, you know, I, you know, suffered an injury for back-to-back uh, -back years, and you know, just try to find that confidence coming back, and you know, show show everybody like who I am. Like that's who I really want to be. Like show everybody like who Taylor Porter is. And, that's what I really want. So, um, Sam Hecht has gotten a lot of praise from from coaches. What what has impressed you the most about what he's done? Um, you know, Sam, Sam, I call him the you know quiet mouse. You know, he doesn't really talk a lot. Um, he's a very shy guy, but really good dude. I promise y'all that. Um, just seeing him, you know, keep building his confidence every year, um, stepping forward into that starting center. And, you know, just being confident, like, we got me and Hadley right next to him, just trying to, you know, communicate every single thing. You know, he's learning every single day, every single week, you know, things to do right. Um, so I'm really happy for him. I'm really excited to play next to him. So, yeah. Coach Riley said Andrew Langings having the best camp of, of his career. What have you kind of seen from him or anyone else that's kind of popped up and rose to the occasion? Lani, um, Lani's um, always been really a really good player. Um, you know, he's always – He's very, we call him Smiley, Smiley McGee because he's always happy. Um, just seeing him grow too, like him and Sam Heck are in the same grade. Seeing them both just climb every single year is really, uh, you know, blessed to really see that. Um, Lanny has just always been, you know, on top of everything. You know, he plays left tackle, he plays guard, he plays, he could play center if he really needed to. He play all, all the positions. You know, he's very smart. He's a engineering major, so very smart brain. Um, you know, just seeing him. Seeing him progress the way he is, I'm really excited for him. So yeah. Do you feel like your job on the offensive line has changed at all with like Avery at quarterback now, new coordinators, new playmakers? I would say no. Um, you know, everything's pretty much the same. You know, I'm just there to, you know, just do my job pretty much. Um, you know, you know, since I'm the the old soul around here, sometimes I gotta, you know, keep everybody on track, you know, so does Hadley, so does Carver. But um, you know, I really pretty much hold the same position I hold, so yeah.